In an ammeter, 5% of the main current passes through the galvanometer. So, ammeter is basically a galvanometer with a resistance in parallel. So, this is a galvanometer, and galvanometer must be having its own resistance, which is Rg. And then there is a resistance which is in parallel to the galvanometer. Okay. So, we R bol dete, Rs. And this entire setup, this entire thing is ammeter. Okay. So, that you know, no confusion is there. So, that's why I'm marking this with dotted lines. Okay. Double M. Uh, okay. If the resistance, uh, so in an ammeter, 5% of the main current passes through the galvanometer. So, if this is I, so the current which is passing through this is 5 by 100 into I. So, therefore, the current passing through the extra, the shunt resistance is 95 by 100 into I. Now, if the resistance of the galvanometer is G, okay, it's got G, eh? the resistance of the ammeter will be. Now, ammeter is the entire thing. So, therefore, we can write G into 5 by 100 into I should be equal to RS into 95 by 100 into I. So, 100, 100 is gone. I, I is gone. This is 19. So, therefore, shunt resistance is G by 19. Now, we are supposed, we are, we are here not asked what is the shunt resistance, but what we are asked is what is the resistance of the ammeter. So, for the ammeter, if you see, so these both RS and the G, they are in parallel. So, therefore, we can write 1 by resistance of ammeter should be equal to 1 by G plus 1 by RS. Now, what is RS? RS is G by 19. So, therefore, 1 by G plus 19 by G, this becomes 20 by G. So, 1 by RA is equal to 20 by G. So, therefore, resistance of ammeter becomes G by 20. So, therefore, the answer is first one. Thank you.